the United States Department of Justice is cracking down on the national crisis of missing or murdered indigenous persons. It's a decades long issue where Native American and Alaska Native communities have struggled with high rates of assault, abduction and murder of tribal members. News Channel 8's Ryan Stockett spoke with Muscogee Creek Nation to learn about these federal efforts and whether they're benefiting the community. Ryan. Brenna, I spoke with Jason Salzman with Muscogee Creek Nation, who says that because Oklahoma ranks 10th in missing and murdered indigenous, indigenous women, he says that these efforts coupled with local efforts are necessary. It's uh, definitely necessary. Efforts to address the crisis of missing or murdered indigenous persons. The Department of Justice, um, you know, jumping in with grant funds, prioritizing MMIP cases, um, the Not Invisible Act um, Commission, and, and so forth. Last month, in recognition of Missing or Murdered Indigenous Persons Awareness Day, the United States Department of Justice highlighted their efforts to tackle the MMIP and human trafficking crises in American Indian and Alaska Native communities. All of these things that they're really putting forward a good foot, um, it's really helping. Those efforts included awarding $268 million in grants to help enhance tribal justice systems and strengthen law enforcement responses. Those are going to these tribal communities to say, hey, you know your community best. We want to be able to be a, a, a source of support for you and a source of funding for you to be able to do what you need to do. Jason Salzman with Muscogee Creek Nation says the Justice Department's efforts is helping by giving local groups the needed resources to tackle this crisis. The boots on the ground, the resources, um, the funds, the uh, support from the justice system, uh, the Justice Department of the United States, um, it's all there. Um, and it's because uh, there is such a crisis right now. Citizen Potawatomi Nation is also working to make this widespread violence against indigenous people more visible. I spoke with Kayla Woody, a prevention specialist at CPN's House of Hope, about their efforts. The more and more information that we can bring around it, I think we'll kind of just start pushing all those pieces into play um, to start having change. Both Salzman and Woody shared with me what resources they have available for people experiencing violence. All the full list on our website, ktwell.com. Live on Lookout Mountain, Ryan Stockett, News Channel 8.